hello guys welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is phil so in today's video we are making beef samosas this is one of my favorite all-time snack this recipe has been requested on my instagram page so many times and finally we have it here guys remember if you're not following me on instagram it's phil's underscore kitchen i share more of my amazing recipes there as well so these samosas are meaty on the inside and very crusty and crunchy on the outside you will love love them guys and also I added a bit of a twist to them I added some poppy seeds on the wrappers and as you can see guys they look so beautiful and the poppy seeds adds more extra crunch to them trust me these are hundred percent yumminess <laughs> So for our first step, we are going to make the samosa filling. So heat oil and then add garlic. We are going to saute this for about two to three minutes. And then next, you're going to add the meat. Here I'm using minced beef. You can use any minced meat you want. We are going to cook the meat while turning to avoid big lumps. And then next, we are adding our seasonings. We are going to continue cooking the meat until all the water from the meat is gone. Remember to get the whole written recipe on the description box down below. So next, I'm adding spring onions. I love, love spring onions on my samosas and also I'm adding green chilies if you don't like your samosa spicy you can omit the chilies I'm going to turn this well until everything is nicely incorporated and lastly I'm adding freshly chopped coriander leaves I'm going to give it a quick mix and once I'm done I'm going to remove it from the pan set it aside to let it cool as we go to our next step So now let's prepare the samosa wrappers. So in a bowl, add flour, salt, and poppy seeds. You are going to mix this well until everything is nicely incorporated. And then next, you're going to add oil. Just using your hand, you're going to mix this with some water until you have a very soft dough. Once your dough is firm, you're going to transfer it to a flat surface, give it another quick knead and then I'm just going to take a clear foil paper, I'm going to cover it and let it sit for about 10 minutes. It sound right, boy. So for our next step, we are going to shape the dough into a log and then just using a knife, you're going to cut it into smaller pieces and just using your hands, you're going to form it into smaller balls of almost the same size. Next, take each dough bowl and just using your rolling pin, you're going to roll them to about a size of a dinner plate. Repeat with the other dough balls until you're all done. So once you're done rolling out all the dough, you're going to take the first circle, place it on a flat surface and then you're going to apply oil on the top side. Make sure every side is covered with oil and then followed with a sprinkle of flour. Then take the second circle, place it on top of that oil circle. We are going to do the same step as we did on the first circle. Keep doing like this until you have piled six circles, one on top of the other and not forgetting to apply oil and sprinkle flour in order to help them separate later next you will take your rolling pin and then you're going to roll out this pile to a bigger size and making sure that the thickness is as even as possible so for our next step is to cook so make sure your pan is over low heat and then you're going to slowly place the pile on top of the pan and you're going to keep on turning and moving it around just to make sure that it's evenly cooked on both sides once you're done cooking, place it on a flat surface and then you're going to slowly separate the layers and then putting them aside. I always want a perfect shape for the samosa wrapper so what I normally do is I take the lid of a cooking pot or you can use a round plate, just place it on top of the wrappers and cut out the unwanted or hard parts of the wrappers. Next, we'll cut the wrappers into four sections and here we have the samosa wrappers. You 
you can cut the wrappers to however shape you want so here i'm just showing you how you're going to fold your wrappers Finally, we are going to fold the wrapper. So this is just a mixture of water and flour. This is going to act as our glue. Take the flour mixture, apply it on one side of the samosa wrapper and then you're going to fold it like so. Next, you will fill the samosa pocket with the minced beef and then you're going to take the flour mixture, apply it on the other end of the samosa pocket and seal. Make sure all the corners of the samosa wrapper is sealed or else while cooking the oil will seep through the wrapper and will make your samosa oily. You are going to repeat this step with all the remaining wrappers until you are all done. Finally let's cook the samosas. You are going to make sure that your pan is over medium heat. You are going to cook them while turning for about 5 minutes until the samosas are nicely golden browned. Once they are done, remove them from the oil, place them on a kitchen towel to drain more excess oil and then we are going to let them cool as we continue with the rest of the other samosas. And that's just it guys, look how beautiful this looks, you're going to love love them, serve them with a squeeze of lemon and some ketchup and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you've liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as usual, don't forget to hit the red button so that you don't miss any of my amazing recipes. Remember you can find me on Instagram at fields underscore kitchen or on Facebook at fields kitchen. So till my next video, bye! sound right boy